Investigation is underway to identify bones found in a shallow grave today. One family shocked while burying a loved one they lost. Another family hoping that they found someone who disappeared years ago. Tennis reporter Liz Bryant is south of Jay, just off Highway 59, with a story you'll see only on two. All right, now you can see the truck behind me. The man inside securing this scene until the medical examiner arrives tomorrow. Mixed in with the flowers and headstone dating back to 1897. Workers cover the shallow grave with the blue tarp in Delaware County. During the digging in the shallow part of the grave that they were digging, they came across some bones that were not in a casket or not in a vault. Sheriff Harlan Moore believes finding an upper arm bone, skull, and a few ribs only two and a half feet underground in an unmarked spot in this cemetery isn't suspicious. It could be just old bones where family didn't have money to put some away and put them in the cemetery. But it could be our missing loved one. Pat Rogers still mourns her cousin Barbara Willard, who disappeared 18 years ago. Tonight, Pat's hope is restored. Hope she's cycled through many times over the years. We never give up hope. We believe in God very strongly. And we believe that there's nothing hidden that won't be exposed. Workers also placed a tarp over the pile of dirt that came out of the shallow grave. The medical examiner will sift through it to look for more bones. I don't think anyone should take it as, as any kind of hope whatsoever. Uh, and I, I hope that if they have anybody missing it, that they would not think that this might be a possibility of one of their loved ones. I, I really don't believe that's the case. For now, the family that planned to bury their loved one lost to cancer in this grave will wait along with Pat. And it took until 6 tonight to figure out if this is in fact Cherokee tribal land or state land. Ultimately, the lead agency is the Delaware County Sheriff's Office, so this is state land. In Delaware County, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you.